welcome. My name is Kathy A. And today I'm going to do um, a video I've been wanting to make for quite a while. Um, this is a basic makeup kit for women who are over 45. And I just thought I'd go through a few things to kind of give a basic, I think, just a basic. I mean, you can get a million other products, but this is a really nice place to start. So the first place I'm going to start is just with skincare real quick. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for normal to dry skin. This is really nice, uh, all over cleanser, works really well. And from the winter, we've had an extremely long winter as many of you in the US know. Um, and the, being inside with the heat on has really dried out the air. So I think a lot of us who, even some of you who normally aren't with dry skin are having trouble with it. So this is the CeraVe uh, Moisturizing Cream. And this comes in a jar and it's very, very, it looks like a, whipped pudding. Very, very nice stuff. This stuff will heal dry skin anywhere on your body, but especially on your face. If you have a problem with dry skin patches, if your foundation's going on, there's all these little dry skin patches on there, this will take care of it. I use it morning and night, and I use the leftover on my heels, my elbows, so I think it's a great thing. Also, another thing to do for skin care, this is the Physician's Formula Argan Oil. And this is, um, this is a special oil that comes only from Morocco. That's why you always see it depicted with little um, Moroccan <laughs> designs. But this oil, just a drop of it on your hand and then put a little of your foundation on there. And you can mix it up with your finger before you apply it. And it goes on just silky smooth. It's just gorgeous. So. Uh, it will help you a lot this winter especially or if you have dry skin in general. I've always had problems with dry skin. I don't drink enough water as most of you probably don't either. Um, for lips, e.l.f. is uh, cruelty free and this is a lip exfoliator. It looks like an ugly lipstick but basically what I do is I put a little warm water on my lips and then I just rub this over like I'm putting it on like lipstick and then I wipe it off afterwards. I always wipe everything off that I've touched to my mouth or my eyes. I think it's a, a way to keep it from becoming too uh, bacteria laden. But that is a lip exfoliator. It's a sugar flavor to it. It's a really nice, very inexpensive way to exfoliate your lips because chap lips run amok this time of year. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talk about this one. This is the Revo. Uh, these are found like in Walgreens and other places. There's different flavors and I'm finding that the flavors are very, very strong. So if you like that, you're going to enjoy this. This is the coconut one. The cupcake one is pretty vanilla-y. So I don't know, but they're only like a couple of bucks, but it's really nice to have one of these in your purse. You can find it easy for one thing. I don't know if you have a bottomless pit like I do for a handbag, but you can always find it. Um, for nail polish, there's a lot of store brands that are cruelty free. Hard Candy is one of them. Uh, really nice formulations for their nail polishes and don't be shy about what colors you use. Pixie is also another brand that's very, very um, age friendly and their nail polishes are outrageously nice. This one is particularly nice, uh, this particular shade. And I think they put that on Hotlook a lot. You know, Hotlook.com is a website I go to. Uh, Milani has just reformulated their um, Fierce Foil nail polishes are kind of interesting. They go on really nice, very nice for spring. And then Ulta stepped up their game for their professional line. Their regular line of nail polishes suck. I don't like them at all, but this is the professional line. I'm wearing it right now. Uh, this is very, very nice. I really like that. And of course, Essence, which is a company out of Germany, I believe. Really, really nice nail polishes and shimmers that you can put over. So if you have a crummy base, like I had some Zoya, they were the velvet mats or something, and they looked terrible. Oh my God, it looked like chalkboard on my fingers. But I put some of this over the top of it, and it made it a beautiful nail. So even from an ugly nail polish, by putting a little glitter or something like that over the top, you can make it pretty. So that's with nail polishes. Let's move into primers, eye primers. Uh, you don't have to spend very much 
and Milani is a cruelty-free company. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer. This is kind of like something everybody should have in their collection. You just put a, a, a little drop. I put it on my hand first. And that's all you need. It's just a little dot and it'll do both eyes. I rub my fingers together and I do it on one and then on the other. And you just blend it into your eyes. It's very nice. Very lightly tinted. It's not going to really cover anything, but it's very lightly tinted. An option to that is about, I think it's like $4.99. This is Take On The Day from Wet n Wild. I have used this so much the writing is off of it. But this is also a very nice um, all-purpose uh, eye primer. Now you need an eye primer to keep your eyeshadows on all day. And this, this means you ever put your eyeshadow on and then three or four hours later you look in the mirror and like, where to go? You have to make it eye again. So things like eye primers will help you um, put your eyeshadow on so it looks close to the colors that it's supposed to and also it stays on all day. So it's a really good idea. For face primers, uh, I just tried, I've been doing a Sephora and an Ulta line test this week and I just found the Ulta Fabulous Face. They also have a hydrating version of this. It is just like Smashbox, absolutely just like Smashbox and in fact side by side. And it's not just the color, it's the whole consistency and everything. Um, it's just like a high end. It feels the same, it looks the same. And again, you can just rub that into your face just lightly. You just kind of lightly tapping it around your face, around the wrinkles. Now, face primer is important because it kind of fills in all the little dings and dents and wrinkles and things and kind of helps when you put your foundation on, it helps keep a smooth face. So a face primer isn't a waste of money. It's something that we didn't have in the 1970s when we were learning about makeup. So it may be unfamiliar to some of you when people talk about primers or face primers. So this is the Ulta Fabulous Face, but they also have different versions, uh, hydrating, uh, pore blotting, things like that. So it might be worth checking out. And these run probably around $8. In the drugstore, this is Lumine, and Lumine is a it's a drugstore product that came out of Europe, I think Denmark or Finland or somewhere like that, um, probably about 10 years ago maybe. And they have a CC cream which you could wear actually almost as a foundation, but it's actually really nice to go on as a primer. So you can put this on, if you, especially if you have rosacea or something like that. You need that little extra punch of uh, tint. It's very, very nice. It dissolves completely into your skin. Really, really nice. Moving into concealers. I'm just going to show you one because I think it's one that everybody should try. It is the Wet n Wild Fergie Come Cover Concealer and there's two of them. This is the Fair and this is the Golden Medium. And this is pretty much those of you who like salmon colored um, concealers for under your eyes. If you have a lot of darkness under your eyes, this salmon concealer will take care of that. It offsets the, and it's not too dark. I'm just going to do it on my own eyes so you can see it's not too dark. If you have any kind of darkness, especially right in here, oops, wrong finger, <laughs> right in here, you would want to use uh, something like that. You can also use that on your blemishes or any any place where you have some broken capillaries or veins, you can use this really nice. Uh, it's like a salmon concealer, and these are $4.99. Compared to E Pearl or even Pixie, uh, these are incredibly good. They're very, very um, hydrating and moist. Now the Fair I'm wearing today, and it's kind of like a very nice under eye concealer. It is very fair. I compared it with NARS Chantilly, but it's actually a creamier formula. It's a very beautiful, and you can just put that under here, and you can use a concealer brush or a beauty blender and just tap it in. But I like to use a, uh, a light, bright concealer just in this area here, making a little triangle because it, it really brightens. You want, as you get older, you want to have the center of your face a little brighter because that's where the darkness hits, and that's what makes you look older is the darkness and the age spots. For foundation, um, I have a couple here. 
This is e.l.f. and it's made my list for three years in a row now. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Fabulous Face Foundation. This one is in porcelain. This is for kind of lighter skin folks. It's got a pump. This is $6. This is a wonderful drugstore cruelty free foundation. Very, very nice. And it does not oxidize. It is slightly warm in the medium tones, but it is a wonderful foundation. Also for foundations, Pixie has this um, and you can find this in Target or on their website, pixie.com. Uh, this is the Moisturizing Tint and Conceal, and this is a combo. You unscrew the top here and you've got a concealer, which you can do concealing with. Or you can just unscrew the whole thing and you've got a really nice foundation which is very, very um, moisturizing and hydrating. And we like to kind of plump up our skin as we get older because our skin has the wrinkles and dryness and age spots, things like that. We really want to kind of cover that and also hydrate ourselves a little bit. And this is a great twofer. You can throw this in your purse and you've got concealer there if you have age spots or even blemishes in some cases. And then you've got the foundation. It's really a terrific buy. Um, Jordana just came out with this. This is the Complete Cover Maximum Coverage 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer together. I believe this is like $3.99 or $4.99. It is an incredibly nice foundation and I, I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't like it myself. Is number two, Classic Beige. And that's for you real light skinned girls like me. You're not um, you're not albino, but you're like real light, you know, fish belly white, I call it. This is a great color, number two, classic bisque. And that's from Jordana, which is a, it's a sister company to Milani. They're in the same factory area in California. I'm not sure if they share formulas or not, but you know, it's the same quality and it's cruelty free. So I always recommend that. And I got that on the website because none of my local drugstores carry the Jordana uh, foundations. There's usually a very limited choice there, which is kind of sad. Now, as I said before, I'm kind of testing out Sephora and Ulta stuff. And this is the Ulta um, Demi Matte Foundation. This is $12. Really, really nice formulation. You've got a pump. Really beautiful. Went on like a dream. I'm wearing that today. Beautiful. And it lasts all day. It's gorgeous. Um, now these are all light to medium coverages. If you want really, really heavy, thick, pancake looking makeup, you're in the wrong age group for it because it doesn't really look nice. It looks like you're trying too hard and it looks like you're wearing a mask when you're older. Everything you put on your face is kind of exaggerated when you're older, unfortunately. So you probably want to keep it to a medium to a medium light coverage. And if you have rosacea or something like that, you can use a color corrector on that. The color correctors, I just recently discovered this uh, this past week. It just came out. It's fairly new from Hard Candy. And hard candy can be found exclusively at Walmart, I believe. Um, this is a, a combination of different colors. And there's a beautiful orange in here. I have a hard time getting this one open. This darker shade, very, very creamy. And again, let me just put it on here. Even though it's orange, when you put it on your skin, you, you don't see the orange. So it's very, very nice for um, setting off blue, blue tones and tired eyes. Uh, then also too, if you've got a little sallowness, you've got the purple here. And then this is really good for rosacea. And ironically, the formulations from these are all a little bit different. Some of them are drier than others, like the, um, I don't really have rosacea, but let me just put this on. And I would tap this in. I wouldn't smear it on, I would tap it in and it takes out the redness in your skin. Um, these orange ones are extremely creamy and these three colors are not. They are more dry. Now this is a yellow which you can use on blemishes or on blue. If you think about the color wheel, you want to brighten with yellow. Especially if you have any blue tone um, darkness on your face and it just brightens it right up. Yellow is great for that. 
but I really like this palette. I think it works really well, and it comes with a synthetic little double-ended brush if you want to put it on that way. Um, I like blending with my fingers for things like that, but you know, if you want to do that, it is probably a little more hygienic. For setting underneath the eyes, I do like this e.l.f. Um, this is an, a high performance, um, high definition under eye setting powder. And this is what they call the HD setting powder. It gets everywhere. It's like cocaine here. Not that I would know. Um, you can put it on with a little brush. There is a teeny tiny little micro glitter in here and I would say that it's um, not detectable unless you're like way up close, you know, in my face kind of thing. So I would say that this is a wonderful setting powder because it doesn't sink into your wrinkles and it keeps your concealer from sinking into your wrinkles. So it's a really good idea to have an HD powder for that. Moving along into um, contouring, NYX has just um, gone through some repackaging and they're releasing a lot of new things. And one of the things they're releasing is an HD version of this blush. And it's something everybody should have in their collection. This is a blush called Taupe. And it is ugly ass color. It, it's like gray and you're like, what? But what this is, is it's going to make you look like you have a little bit more contour to your face. It's absolutely beautiful and it looks like a natural skin tone. So you actually give the optical illusion when you use this like underneath your, your cheekbone, you give the optical illusion of having cheekbones and more of a definition to your face shape. Now if you're very thin, if you are a very thin person, it's not recommended that you contour this part of your face. Uh, because it will just make you look a little more gaunt. Um, those of you who are going through uh, illnesses and you've lost a lot of weight, uh, I wouldn't recommend contouring in there at all. You may want to contour just the jowl area down here where you can just kind of paint here and then just down maybe an inch underneath your chin. You can do that with the dark color. But this is NYX Taupe and they have a new version of this called the HD Blush. So you may want to pick this up. It's around $5 or $6 for this. Absolutely amazing. I compared this with my Kevin Aquan contouring powder. And contouring is something that may be a little scary to some of you because again, we didn't do this in the 1970s and 80s when we were learning about makeup. And then when contouring came out in the 80s, initially, it was very severe, like adamant, you know. You know, there were the lines. It was lines of contouring. And so that may, scare you and think, well, I'm not going to do that to my face. And you'd think that's what contouring is, but it isn't. It's a subtle kind of look. So I recommend this NYX Taupe Powder Blush. So this is the Fergie Wet n Wild Brush with Destiny Blush. These blushes just came out uh, in December, I believe, in late December. And this is just a very pleasant, pretty, very light color. And you don't want to have too much color on your face because um, anything, like I said, anything you do to your face is going to be very exaggerated and you don't really want to um, look like a clown or or look like, you know, that old lady that's got way too much makeup on and nobody wants to say anything to her and she thinks she looks great. And you know, some of these colors look fine and you just keep going with them, but you know, tone it down a little. Um, some people look like you just slapped them in the face, you know, they just have this loud kind of and I see even beauty gurus on here I see them with these huge vats of, of blush all over their face and to me that looks so unnatural and so weird it's like they were just skiing all day or something I don't know but um, this is a wonderful color brush with destiny from wet n wild it's five dollars and it's just a wonderful blush Milani just re-released uh, all of their rose series blushes and these are really beautiful not only because they're um, imprinted with the rose pattern but uh, they're very practical colors they're very pigmented and pretty um, let me just <laughs> and you can shear them out to look really nice they're matte shades uh, this one is romantic rose there's also another one called tea rose which is a little more coral color um, and then there's one called uh, coral crush which is a very very 
kind of orangey summer shade. So these are really nice. These run around six or seven dollars. Really, really beautiful. They came out uh, last year as a kind of a spring, uh, like limited edition thing, and they were so popular that they brought them back and put them in their uh, regular line. So I definitely recommend these. And also Ulta is stepping up their game a little bit. I got this in a free bag that you got if you spent $19.90 or something like that, you would get this free bag and it's a bag that has like 1200 different things in it, all Ulta brand. Ulta is hit or miss, you know, some of the stuff is real tacky cheap, you know, kitty kind of makeup and some of it is nice and I really like this blush and this bronzer combo are really, really nice. Now bronzers and contour powders can be kind of intermixed and you know it can be confusing sometimes but you know you can what you can do with a bronzer is put it along the edges of your face just to warm up your face a little bit or a very light um, powder of it just to give you a little bit of warmth and glow or if you have a kind of a pasty looking foundation on you can kind of brighten it up by a little touch of this a light hand just a light hand will do it and give you a little bit of a glow and you'll look a little bit you know more alive than you do i usually only use a bronzer if i'm using some really pasty looking makeup and we're between seasons like we are right now but this is a really nice little combination this is called splendor and bronzer and this was in a free free bag that they gave out but i'm sure these things are in their regular line this is jordana and this is the blush stick and the color is, let me check here. Color is number one, blushed. <laughs> and, it's, and this is a cream um, blush stick. You can throw it in your purse, you can put it on your, on your face, you can also put it on your lips. And you have kind of a uniformity going there. But this is from Jordana, they run around three or four dollars. And this is color number one, blushed. Jordana really has some high quality stuff for being a very low budget item, so don't put your nose up on it. Uh, Physician's Formula has, I feel, the closest dupe in the drugstore to uh, the Hourglass Ambient Powders. This is an amazing palette. This is the Warm Nude palette. These are all shimmers, and what you can do with this is you can go like this. You can get different colors if you go different directions. Like you can get kind of a tawny look. You can get kind of a pink look. You can get all kinds of different looks and it just blends in nicely with your skin. Just to give you a little bit of a glow. It's kind of a controlled glow. It's not, um, it's just subtle. The light will hit you every now and then. You just look healthy. You don't look crazy and the hourglass ambient powders do this kind of a thing in a subtle way but they cost I don't know I think they're $45 each or something and you can imitate pretty much all of them with combinations of these colors so this is the physicians formula warm nudes shimmer palette I highly recommend this for regular basic everyday powder that you want to set your makeup with, this is the Milani Multitasking Powder uh, in Classic Ivory. I don't like to go too light with this powder. It comes with a mirror and you get a, a puff with it. Um, it's also imprinted nicely with a little design. But I mean, just to press it into your face, it's just a wonderful all-purpose powder. You can also use this um, with concealer as kind of a foundation substitute so it is something that you can use in summertime for that the last foundation I'll talk about is the physicians formula BB cream and this is an argan oil infused BB cream absolutely wonderful there is a scent to it and they did put a scent to it some of you who don't like a scent may not like this I find it very exotic and exciting I think this is so cool um, it's just a foreign scent that's all I can say it's like you're in Marrakesh or somewhere you're in a market somewhere <laughs> and it goes on wonderfully uh, the smell does dissipate um, after five minutes or so you won't smell it anymore it stays on your skin very nicely it's a wonderful foundation substitute 
and it's very hydrating for those of you with dry skin. So this is the Physician's Formula Argan Oil Infused BB Cream. Moving on to um, brows. You can use just about anything for brows. There's lots of pencils out there. Milani has a nice one. NYX just came out with a micro pencil that's supposed to rival the Anastasia thing, which is, you know, Anastasia pencils around $22 to $24, and the NYX pencil, I believe, is $8, so it's pretty good. Now, Milani has this, which is a, uh, these are brow powders. You've got a mirror, you get these little instruments of torture here. You've got this cute little, I don't know what you'd do with this, um, tiny little brow plucker thingy. You've got a little brow brush that is just so cute. And then you've got three brow colors. Now what you can do is just take a little color onto this little thingy here. And depending on your eye brow color, and you never want to go too dark with this, but you can also use these, and what I keep this for is you've got these beautiful shadows, beautiful eyeshadows. You've got a dark, a medium, and a beautiful, look at that, pow, beautiful eyeshadows. And it's meant initially to put just underneath your brow to catch the light just underneath your brow, but this little brow kit from Milani is my favorite brow product because you can also double it over as eyeshadows and it's just gorgeous wonderful thing plus you get all the little things and this runs around eight dollars I think nine dollars it's a wonderful thing moving into eyeshadows I honestly believe you only need three colors of eyeshadow for a good base okay you just need these three colors and then you can just add whatever other colors you want but these three will give you a good basic eye and now these are Jane Cosmetics. You don't have to get this brand. Just look at these colors. The first color is a light color. You need a nice light color. And that's for your lid, this part of your eye right here. Just a light color. This is Marigold from Jane Cosmetics, another cruelty-free brand, whoops, who also um, donates to a lot of uh, charities and organizations that empower women. And this is what I call the perfect crease color. This is from Jane, this is called Willow. And what this is, is this is a matte, medium light brown shade. You put it right here, just over where the little crease line is in your eye. And it creates an optical illusion of youth. It's an orbital bone uh, cover up, and it kind of gives an optical illusion that you've got space there. And it really, add something. It has to be a matte shade, which means it has to be flat, not shiny, not glossy, but flat. And you put that right in here. You can also have this be a grayish tone or a greenish tone or even a mauve or a light purplish tone as long as it's matte and in this basic tonal area. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow. I love this. Um, so you only need that and the light color. And then a dark color. I like to use a dark brown because I think you can use it in the corner. It looks very natural. It really punches up your, your eyes to put darker shades in the very outer third of your eye. It punches up your eyes so much. I mean, look at that. And you can also use it with a little pencil brush. Or you can even use those goofy things that come in the kit. And you can line your eyes with it can line your eyes with eyeshadow and what you can do with a lot of eyeshadows is you can spray your brush with water and then put it into the eyeshadow and it makes the eyeshadows almost like an eyeliner I know that we're used to lining our eyes with sticks um, but you can use any color eyeshadow as well as an eyeliner it works really really nicely so those are the three main colors I feel that you should have but, I mean, like you can get this light color from Wet n Wild, which is called Brulee. This is what I'm wearing today. You can actually use it to erase. If you put too much eye makeup on, you can actually go over it and kind of erase your mistakes and brighten up your eyes. And you can touch up during the day, just on the inner corner there with the light color. It's really beautiful uh, light color eyeshadow. And this is, runs around a dollar, dollar ninety-nine tops really really nice brulee from wet n wild 
Um, NYC has these little kits and they come with, you get like a little double ended brush and then you get, um, these are eye bases. This is an eye primer that's got some nice uh, color to it. It's just, you know, a little bit of a tint, but you can use that first. And then you've got, there you go, you've got your light color, your matte, regular, and then you've got a dark color. That's all you need. A light color, a matte, medium tone, and then a dark color of any kind. And the purple's really, really pretty. Uh, this particular one is one of my favorites. And these kits run around $4.99, $5.99. You can get them on sale oftentimes. Now this white one is just a different kind of base. You can use it. Of course, my fingers are really dirty. <laughs> and you can clean off your eyeshadow palettes, by the way, by spraying a little alcohol on them. It works really well. Um, you can use this as a white base for your eyeshadow to go on top of, and you'll get more of a true color to your eyeshadow as well. Or you can use this just underneath uh, your brow bone for a little bit of punch there. So this is a really nice little kit. This is from NYC and this is called Union Square number 858 I believe. They even tell you how they think you should put it on but basically light on the lids, medium tone matte on just above the crease and then dark in that last third and you've got a really good basic eye. So this is a great little kit. Now if you want to get fancy, you can go into kits, and this is fairly new from Hard Candy. This is a dupe for Too Faced uh, Natural Eyes. They've also called it Natural Eyes. I'd be pretty pissed off if I was Too Faced. <laughs> oh my god. I'd be on the phone with my lawyer. <laughs> so this comes with an eye primer, an eyeliner, and one of these double-ended thingies and don't turn your nose up at these. These will these work in a pinch really nicely for blending. And then you've got again you've got your nice light color here or even the, this nice shimmery one looks real pretty. Uh, catches the light just right. Uh, then you've got that matte mid shade. Here's another matte mid shade. This one is what they call a transition color and that means between your upper lid and that crease color is kind of a, a, a lighter color than the crease color but not darker than up here I mean, I mean darker than up there so you just put that just above the crease and they call that the transition color and it makes it blend kind of more seamlessly up you've also got some pretty other colors like this pretty gold which you can punch up I put it in the center of my lid I don't go anywhere in this area here or in this area here with any shimmers. I think that it just accentuates wrinkles. You don't want to do that. Then you've got your pretty dark colors, which you can use. It's a pretty dark kind of greenish color in that corner there. Or you can line your eyes with it. And then, you know, we've got the eyeliner there. But this is $8. You get a mirror here. There's also an instruction booklet, which I've already lost. And it's a great little tin for traveling or whatever. You've got, you can put other things in here too. It's a great idea. Now for eyeliner, you're probably familiar with these kind of things, and I like Pixi. I think Pixi has like the best liners, and what you can do with a lot of these is you can do what they call tight lining, and I am just lining underneath my lashes on that little flap of skin just between my lashes and my eyeball. They call that tight lining. And I just kind of lean it up and then just kind of roll it down to the side. And it's kind of a nice way to, and I always wipe off the eye yuck after. Um, <laughs> but this is Pixie in Black Tulip, and it's a gorgeous. Pixie has a wonderful line of cosmetics. Now, if you're using a brush and you are using a light color, you can actually use this. They, these are for buns. You stick them on the back of your head and put your hair over it and you can make a bun with it. But what I do is you wipe this over the top of it and it takes the, the uh, eyeshadow off. And you can use this brush in any color you want. And then when you're done, wipe it on here again. It's a brush cleaner, a dry brush cleaner. You don't use it with a wet brush. And if you don't have one of these, remember these scrubby things, you can get a pack of six of them, I think, at the dollar store. Same stuff. Do the same thing there. 
So this is a great brush cleaner. Now eyeliners can also be nude color and some people like to go in what they call a waterline. This is Jordana in Continuous Almond. You can also uh, go up just under your brow to accentuate that area. And you can go just up on top of your brow as well. And it accentuates the brow shape that way. It's kind of a neat thing to do. And this is Continuous Almond from Jordana. These are our larger eye crayons. If you're looking for something, a good sharpener too, to sharpen this, this is the Essence sharpener. And this actually is large enough to put these larger crayons in. It does a bang up job on sharpening your uh, larger crayons and also it has the standard size as well. And these are I think $2 or $3 at most. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's good to sharpen your, your pencils and keep them sharp. Moving into uh, liquid and gel liners. Now this is Milani and this is the Fierce Foil Gel Liner. Don't be frightened of these. These are something you can use, um, there's a little brush that comes with it or you can use a just a small brush and then just kind of draw along the edge of your line, of your eye line here and it makes a really pretty soft kind of look depending on the brush you're using to put it on with and then it dries and it sets there and it stays all day and when you see these you just you know get a small little pencil thin brush or uh, an angled brush like you would use for uh, your an angled brush is nice with this also um, but it just makes a nice little line just go in here and you can soften it out a little bit. You can, you can soften it out like shadow or you can keep it as a line. But it's a really, really nice, this one is the navy foil. And it's kind of a very subtle, soft kind of blue shade. I really like it and I like the purple one as well. But if you want to go with something a little stronger, this is the e.l.f. Um, cream eyeliner. And this is a little bit stronger stuff. You may want to use something a little. And you can use whatever brush you want. For mascaras, um, I don't have a whole lot of choice because I actually don't like a lot of the uh, mascaras that are available that are in the drugstore. Um, there are some that are not cruelty free that are really nice. Um, but I do like this one, and this is the Wet n I have this on today. This is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. This just came out also uh, late in 2014. It's a very, very nice, huge, um, big honking lashes you get with it. Really, really nice. I'm going to purposely mess up my eyes so I can show you my other product here. The other um, great drugstore product that I like is the Max Factor 2000 Calorie Mascara. You can get this at the Vermont Country Store. You can order this online uh, from lifeandlooks.com. It's an Irish company. You can get it, I think, at like $6 or something from them. And I think it's like $21 if you get it from the Vermont Country Store. But this is the 2000 Calorie Mascara from Max Factor. Excellent mascara. Um, and this max volume, um, you just have to, after you put your mascara on, get your 5 by mirror and look carefully. And this is the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Pen. It is just a felt tip that's been infused with different oils, like chamomile oil. And you just go and you just basically draw over it. You see where you smeared and you just tap it. And then I take it right away and I wipe it off on a napkin or a tissue. And then I close it up and it's ready for the next use. I use this every single day, the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Pen. It's like $3. It is so worth it. And not just that kind of makeup, you can also use it for concealers or if you put too much makeup somewhere or if it's too crusty looking around here, you can put this on there, dab it off with a tissue, and then you can start again with whatever it is you need to repair. So this is a wonderful, wonderful product. 
Moving into um, lipsticks, there's a ton of them. These three that I have are from uh, Essence. These are $2.99. This is a beautiful, beautiful nude, and I think it's a great one. It's number 11. Let me just see the name. This is Nude Love, beautiful nude. Uh, this one is Miss Peach, number 67, beautiful color. And again, they're not too dark. You don't want to go too dark when you're older. Now this one was a bit of a stretch for me because I usually don't go for these kind of colors. This is number 31, Glamour Queen. I'm just going to put it on because I wasn't sure until I swatched it. This is one of their new sparkle lipsticks and it's called Glamour Queen. I really like this a lot. It's a your lips but much better kind of look. It's just a little bit polished if you don't want to look too made up but you've got, you know, you want to have something on your lips. Now the next lipstick I have here is from Pixi and this is actually a balm lipstick from Pixi but it has a fairly nice um, pigmentation to it and this is called Honey Nectar and this is a beautiful kind of um, it's more of a tawny nude and this has the dual role of being a wonderful lip balm this is a throw it in your purse whip it out and you've got some color and some uh, moisture hydration going on there this is a wonderful product and it's Honey Nectar from um, NYX this is uh, Fun Size, it's called, another pretty nude. I couldn't part with it. This is kind of a light pink. This would be very pretty in summertime, or you can put it just in the center of your lips. If you have a darker color on, you can use a lighter color in the center, and it makes your lips appear a little bit larger. Uh, Hard Candy has, this is called Admired, really pretty uh, darker nude color. And again, these are all different colors, although they're in a similar family group. You can see the pattern developing here. Very moisturizing and hydrating. This one is Flower, and this is called Mauve Over, and this is a lip crayon. Really, really pretty. Let me put it on. Very, very nice. A um, lot of pigment on this. It's very moisturizing. It's just a wonderful, I like flower uh, lip stuff a lot. Really nice stuff. And Ulta, again, Ulta has, this is one of their uh, super shiny lip butters. And this color is called Rome. And I just thought this was gorgeous. Let me just take this off. I'm going to be doing a special on Ulta and also on Sephora brands pretty soon. I was going to do them competing with each other, but it would take way too long. This is called Rome from Ulta. I really like this very much. It's a, a lip butter. I took a chance on it. I think these run around uh, six or seven dollars. Really, really nice. Very pretty. And uh, I won't be disappointed. I'm not a big fan of Wet n Wild lipsticks, but they are an option if you want to spend two bucks. This one is within these Adobe walls. Very, very pretty uh, corally color, and it lasts all day. It's a, it's a great color for spring into summer. So it's the only Wet n Wild lipstick I really like. I, I don't like, it's kind of a Crayola waxy smell to me. I'm not that crazy about them. And when you put them on, you know, they're a little bit dry, some of them. And I, I just, I just have never been a huge fan of them and everybody ra raves about them, but I don't. <laughs> Lip liners, Milani has wonderful ones and Sonia Kashik, whom I haven't mentioned at all, uh, has one. This is a beautiful lip liner. Any of the nudie uh, Your Lip colors and now they're doing that new thing where they're kind of lining a dark shade underneath and on top. They're doing a dark shade uh, to accentuate like an overdraw I guess they call it and they're using kind of brown and spice shades for that. Um, this is perilously close to that old habit we used to have of dark lining our lips and then putting a lighter color lipstick in the middle. It's just perilously close. 
for um, sprays. I did use this already, but I'll use it again. This is the NYX Dewy Finish um, setting spray. And what this does is if you're going to an event or something, or if you're getting married or whatever, you may want to do this. You close your eyes, give yourself three or four sprays. It puts hydration and joy on your face. It dries within a few seconds and it keeps your makeup in place. It's like hairspray for your face. And yes, I saw Tati actually put hairspray on her face. It is an old fashioned thing that people used to do in the olden days. I remember it very well. Um, just for a quick thing, this is my grandmother at 57. And this I think is how we envisioned 57 to look when we were young, because we didn't want it to be, you know, we never thought we would be that old. So I just turned 57 uh, a couple weeks ago. And I found this and on the back she put me at 57. <laughs> but this is my grandmother. And see, see the difference in the clothes and the hair? I think we're pretty hip for our age group, even though she has great skin. And thanks, Graham, for the skin. But, you know, it was, it was just not considered tasteful to wear makeup back then. And this hairstyle, this, you know, tight curls, poodle thing, this was really big back then. My mother had a very similar look when she was this age. So, um, but you know, old is, is really just a number because we're kind of pretty pretty hip and pretty groovy for, uh, for old people. And as long as we can stay healthy, um, you know, I think we're gonna be all right. So we'll, we'll get through this together, this aging thing. 60 is gonna be a little rough for me. You're gonna have to help me through that. We still have YouTube, I don't know. <laughs> So anyway, I hope this has been helpful to some of you. It's been fun kind of collecting stuff. Uh, these aren't all the things I would normally use all together, but these are things in my collection that survived even after I, I pared down my collection to almost nothing. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. We are in the process of selling our home. So I am cleaning and doing everything else. That's why this video is being released so late. <laughs> Everybody have a wonderful week. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.